of the video in the case of Justice Esther Maina that the Deputy President did mislead the public that Justice Esther Maina was corrupt simply because she had made a finding that that was against him. Mr. Speaker, I also rely on a video that I'm going to play shortly that the Deputy President did attack the National Intelligence Service in a televised television interview in Mombasa. Mr. Speaker, in that televised interview, and you will see it shortly, the Deputy President misled the Kenyan Republic on several accounts, which I will discuss after the video has been played. I now request the media team to play the video on NIS in Mombasa. Where did the rain begin to beat us? Where did we stop listening to the people? President William Ruto and I were the darling of the Kenyan people. By listening to them, by engaging them. And as a government, we have established institutions to ensure we not only listen to Kenyans, but also generally understand their concerns. We invest significant resources in these institutions, particularly the National Intelligence Service for this purpose. It is clear there has been a failure in the intelligence and advice we are receiving, particularly concerning crucial government policies. The President of the Republic of Kenya today has admitted that it has come to his attention that the people of Kenya did not want